So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness, I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Oh, 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 oh. Fuck all that! You see the other disappointment on my face, right? You see this, right? I, I just, why? Why? Just... WHY?! The thing is, this is what I expected Drake to do. Let me be honest with you. I expected this from Drake. Did not expect this from J. Cole. Why? Why? <laughs> you... J. Cole sent subliminal shots at Kendrick Lamar on that song, First Person Shooter. You did do that. You said, we the big three like we started the league, but right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. You said you feel like Muhammad Ali. Then Kendrick responds with like that. A bazooka that you said it was. You said it was a bazooka, that's how you described it. Then you respond with seven minute drill. A song that you didn't even believe in because now you're apologizing. I just hope niggas know that he can never say he's the greatest at anything other than fucking cooking or some shit. There is no world where this nigga is literally. You said you were the. You felt like Muhammad Ali until a nigga tested your fucking gangster and came on the mic and said, Oh, you felt like Muhammad Ali? Nigga, fuck the big three. It's big me. That's what he said. Listen, bro. As of right now, J. Cole's on fraud watch. I'm just gonna keep it about with you. You are on fraud watch. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, he's just trying to be the bigger per if I see any one of you niggas in the comments talking about he's trying to be the bigger person. He never watched battle rap before and it shows. Like it literally shows that y'all never watched battle rap. Because those battle rappers, they rap against each other. They fuck they fucking talk about each other's mama all type of shit and then low-key be friends with each other the whole time if you say you felt like Muhammad Ali guess what Cole Muhammad Ali ain't never said that he that even when he had Parkinson's was getting his ass beat right he was getting his ass beat in his final fight bro even when he was on his last rope he ain't never said nobody was better than him somebody found me a clip and said uh, Muhammad Ali saying he, that somebody was better than him Huh? It might be a joke. He might say Mike Tyson. Oh yeah, Mike Tyson could whoop me. He wasn't being serious though. Find me a clip where he's saying, where he's seriously saying somebody better him. You can't feel like Muhammad Ali and then feel like Gandhi also, nigga. You can't. You know what would've been the best thing ever? If J. Cole said nothing. All this nigga had to say was nothing. He didn't have to say anything. He didn't have to come on here and uh, say, hey guys, my spirit was feeling fucking attacked last night i felt a disturbance in the force so I, i'm gonna take this shit off streaming service nigga shut the ooh, 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 ooh. shut the fuck up nigga and you know the worst part i'm seeing a lot of cole fans who were just on twitter two days ago talking spicy they were talking mad spicy they was talking insanely spicy now they talking about some, oh yeah, man, peace, put love, and positivity. I knew Cole was going to do that. Yeah, man, black unity. Man, shut your bitch ass up. We knew, we know what you are. Hmm? A dick writer. We know what you are. You're found. Yeah. Yeah. Cole's on Fraud Watch. Uh, Kendrick, 1-0. It's confirmed now. Sorry, bro. Uh, Kendrick Lamar just won a rap beef without even... <laughs> I ain't even replying to it. You just run, want a rap beef without even saying nothing for real. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's fucking insane.